All right, so it is a rainy, dreary day here at the farm. So instead of doing outside chores, uh, I'm gonna spend the morning taking care of the potatoes that we picked. We wanna get these stored, uh, where they're gonna be stored here for over the winter. Um, we have a pretty simple process, so we'll show you how we do that today. Again, this process works for us. Uh, use whatever works for you, but just a simple way of storing the potatoes, that way we'll have fresh potatoes down here in our dry uh, basement throughout the winter. So here we have our Yukon Golds that we dug up. We dug these up first. I do have our russet potatoes back here as well that we're going to store. Again, pretty simple process in terms of how we store our potatoes for over the winter. Um, we use these paper bags. Now, we get these paper bags when we do our to-go shopping at our local grocery store. They do provide these to us to put our groceries in when we pick up our groceries. And then we also save our um, mailings that come in our mail that we don't really care about, the paper mailings, the coupons that we don't really need. And we save those for two reasons. One, we use the newspaper as padding in between the layers of the potatoes in the bags. And then two, because we have a wood-burning fireplace, we do use this a lot in the winter time to get the fire started. So good fire starter here, but also twofold because it also helps with storing our potatoes. So we are down here in our basement. Our basement is uh, totally dry. If you do watch us on social media, you may have already seen the video in which we woke up to uh, some minor flooding down here in our basement. We did install French drains uh, three quarters of the way around the entire basement. It is It has remained dry because of that, which is great. Um, it is also nice and cool down here in the summer and, and stays moderately cool in the winter. So it is the coolest and driest spot, we would say, in the house. Given all of that, um, we store our potatoes down here as well. It usually maintains about 55 degrees. That is the top end for storing potatoes, around that 45 to 55 degree range. So I'm um, pretty confident that these potatoes will, will stay good through, through the winter. We do leave the potatoes uh, dirty. The reason that we do that is it actually is good to, to uh, keep the potatoes, the dirt on the potatoes while you're storing them. Wiping them down exposes them to more light, which then will eventually, if exposed long enough, will turn them green and then they won't have a great taste to them. So we do keep them as dirty as we pull them out of the ground. We only wash them off just as we're about to use them. So I've got my first layer down here. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take a piece of newspaper. I don't use the shiny stuff. We use the newspaper and I'm just gonna lay it over that layer. I do rip it in half, goes longer. You don't necessarily need a super thick piece of newspaper. Just one nice thin layer in between. Newspaper just helps keep them dry. This is why we try to store them pretty quickly so they don't go bad. But that's okay because we've got plenty this year. So 
here's our potatoes. I am going to place one more sheet just over the top, make sure everything is kind of covered. Again, what we're doing here is we're just preventing the light from going in and penetrating the potatoes. Again, like I said before, the more light the potatoes get in these early days, the higher the chances that they're going to start turning green and then the taste is going to go. So you want to get them stored wherever you're going to store them in a cool, dry place. Basements are generally where a lot of people store them that we know. This will be our first year storing large quantities of potatoes over the winter. We did also do some uh, blanching of some potatoes with the earlier Yukon Golds that we have. Uh, so those are now stored in the freezer. But at least for the time being, these are fresh potatoes that could stay like this and stay good for up to three or four months. Now, you do want to check them. The reason that we put the paper here in between the layers is to create a dry barrier. So we're going to move these to the side. We're going to store our Yukon Golds completely separate from our russets. Just helps me with maintaining quantity and knowing what we have of each. I have been using more of the russets to do more of our uh, potato salad cooking. So that's another reason. These are our russets. Really nice looking potatoes. Uh, relatively large in size, so fairly happy with that. We've got a bunch that are about this size, which is great. Um, so, very pleased with the yield. Thought we might get physically more, but the area that they were planted in, I think just being it a, a newer garden of ours, this was the first full year that we had actually put the garden back in. Uh, years ago, the whole side yard of this property was a garden, so we're kind of bringing it back to what it once was. Next year, we're going to have a whole area that's the size of the garden in the side yard now, but strictly for potato growing. We did so well this year with such a small area with larger yields that if we can get a whole section that's strictly potatoes, I think we'll be uh, able to store these and ride out just the stored potatoes through the entire winter until our next harvest. And that's really the idea here is to get as many of our vegetables and fruits in a method that we can grow them year over year and not have to buy them at the grocery store. So I'm doing the same thing again. Starting with paper bag, and then we're just going to layer in the potatoes here. Actually just going to take another paper bag because we have so many of these. Put it over like that. we go. Now we've got them labeled with the pick date and which kind they are. This is much heavier. We're going to have a lot of potatoes this year. <laughs> 